Hey everybody, Omega Alden here. We're continuing with more Ori in the Blind Forest. We are doing this, uh, this Forlorn Ruins, or whatever it's called, puzzle. And hopefully we stop having our minds completely screwed by this setup. Oh! It's, like, for some reason, space is trickier to deal with when it's all screwed up like this. For me, at least. I don't know how I'm, when I'm supposed to go across there. Shit. Like, I'm doing something, I'm doing something wrong. Why? Fudge. Fudge sickles. Okay, 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 okay. Yes! Alright, we still have to hold... This... This whole... Being upside down thing and the controls being opposite directions of what I expect just messes with my mind. I'll get used to it. Or I won't. It won't last forever. That's all we know. Okay, we're making progress. Let's save it. Keep going. Keep going with the thing. Take the thing over here, jump off. Ignore the spider. Don't ignore the spider. Uh, can we? I just wasted a save. Can we still launch off this thing, or do we even care? I assume we can't launch while holding it. Maybe that's a dumb assumption. This is, uh, this is screwing me up. Am I supposed to drop the thing and, and stay in the air because of the spider? This is the worst. Alright. Alright, now that this is going up, we're gonna run across it. We're gonna jump! We made it! It's just a matter of timing is all. Maybe. Alright, th this is up here. Let's... Are we gonna need to warp around to get it? Let's try dropping it. See what we can do. Let's, uh, save it here. We can't wall climb. Those are dangerous, so... Yeah, I think we're- I think this is a wall walking upside down type of situation to get that key piece. That's what it appears to be to me. They want to just make use of this mechanic, get as much mileage out of this as they can in this dungeon. <laughs> Alright. You gotta make the jumps, buddy. It's as simple as that. You gotta make the jumps. I will save it over here, even though it's only three steps further. But we're, uh, we have an excellent track record right now of falling in that pit. So. We, will, we won't leave this to trust. We will just do it. So we need to drop this and, and then, uh... Pick it up again. I want to go get that key fragment, which means going upside down here. Alright, we took some damage, but whatever. Let's save it again. Now we just uh, make our way back. We've got the key fragment. Really wasn't a big deal. This part... This part's alright. We don't need to double save. We're, we're impressive. We're impressive individuals. 
we can make uh, we can make these jumps. I can break these cuffs. You can't break those cuffs. No, we're not going to do anything stupid. We're going to uh, drop down here. We are going to save it now that we're back here. And we're going to see what our deal is. Did I screw this up? No, here's this. Okay. I was wondering how I was supposed to make the journey. Do I... What do I do here? How do I do this? Because I assume this is going to drop me into the spikes. I had to know. There's a key fragment that I need. Is this... Oh! You're... So, I thought those were spikes. Your boy's an idiot. They weren't spikes at all. So if you're like, what is he doing? Just make the jump, you idiot. The The reasoning was that I thought those were gonna hurt me and kill me. So, oh! I was not expecting that. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that, but I really wasn't. So, uh, this is the mechanic. <laughs> this is a cool mechanic. I like it. Let's get the map stone. I was gonna try and do something tricky there, and then I'm like, wait, no, you can just go to the top and walk off, you idiot. I was about to, like, lunge myself like some sort of fool. <laughs> okay, so the, the key fragment door is to our right, so we don't need to go in there yet. The two key fragments that we need are above us, either via the left or directly above us. I think uh, I think that means I have to go to the left. So, I wish I had the ability to save it right now. There's a save point to the left if I'm not, if I'm not terrible. So, there is this. This means I can save it right here, so. All right, so I did save it. We know how the mechanics work. That was not how you jump it. So we need to use... We need to use gravity? Or whatever you call this mechanic. And we go... Nope! I, I was on the wrong side. I tried to jump off. Cool. We're gonna save it right here. We can warp to this point now, but we're just gonna continue our journey. Hold left. Like a, like some sort of madman. I wanted to drop that. I didn't. So, yeah. We've got full health now. We've got a full charge bar thing of for the saves and whatnot. Let's try to actually kill some of these enemies instead of just go... Instead of just going crazy. We slammed him into the thing! We're monsters! We don't deserve the respect that they give us. And the powers. Because of gravity, he's not able to drop the thing directly below him. So I, I am just actually fine whenever that happens. 
Okay, so we have to be careful here. I think now is the time to go. We get a stone here. Ouch. I should have dropped the thing at that point, but I, uh, I messed up. I messed up. The controls being reversed, like, still messes with me. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that was silly of me. So, I was trying to drop it in midair and, like, flip over and it didn't react the way I thought it would. I don't know if I'm even capable of dropping it while jumping. So, I just need to, I need to slow my roll. Like these guys are these guys are easy when you give them some respect. All right, let's just let's just do this the old-fashioned way. Okay, let's save it up here because we've been giving ourselves problems. Let's just you know we we've solved a minor a minor hurdle. We'll wait till the next beam. We'll go. We'll go. Is there anything in here that... So that that looks like it might be a little secret right there. Uh, am I supposed to use this to launch through there? Like, uh, as a horizontal thing. Can I save it right here? I can only save on solid ground. That's, uh, that's, that's, you know, that's reasonable. That was, uh, that was dumb of me. Not gonna lie. What I was trying to do there was get to the little ledge. There's the ball. So I was trying to get to the little ledge. So those things don't even hurt on impact. Like, you can get hit by the by them and it's not a big deal. <laughs> you try to get fancy with it and it kills you every time. I don't know what, like, the, the mechanic in this area just is messing with me, and, and, I don't know, I just, I'm playing it kind of foolishly. But I wanted to, essentially I want to check, I want to check the wall to the right of, I want to check that wall. Because it seemed like, This is a mistake. Alright, let's go drop, drop this here. We can fix our mistake. That! Is this a secret over here? This looks like it might be like a secret. Like, why would you go over here? It's not a secret. But now we've really screwed up. Oh, we haven't screwed up as bad as I thought. But we do need to send ourselves through here. So, uh... That confirms it. It just, you know, this is a crazy little spike pit area. We need to be cautious. Cautious. I'm sad at all the Goombons that died. That little lip up there seemed like it... That was a... What is this shit? <clears throat> like this... I'm just gonna do something real stupid right here, cause... 
it looks like it might be like a no nah. it looked like it might have been like this is fake spikes you're probably looking at looking at it and be like alden why would you think that and i'm like i don't know you know if i was doing this i might put some fake spikes there is all i'm saying this is an unsafe zone i mean it is oh yeah you're right you're not wrong it was it was very unsafe so that thing just goes back and forth i get it i just need to treat it with some more respect than i have been we just do this right we do this and then we wait for it to go back and then we launch ourselves across or we we should have launched ourselves right there yeah so once this gets and gets cut off we jump Is this considered an unsafe area? No. Is there anything cool to do here? Like, what if I go upside down? Or I just jump into the, you know, I just jump in. I jump on the thing. You gotta have the object first. Like, what if I was to do some madman shit like this? You're a madman, Wanberger. Okay. Come on. I felt like there was going to be a secret missing ceiling because of the Goombons and stuff. That was, uh, that was a drop I was not expecting. It looked like it was a legit wall. It was not a legit wall. An illegitimate wall. They gave us some save juice, so we'll respect that. And save it. So here we have to jump across and do a spin move. Assuming we want to go to the far right and get that. Which we do. Yeah, we've done it. Uh, we needed to go back up there. Okay. We need to, like, just drop the ball. And just drop down here. Using our normal, normal movement abilities. This brings us back to the gate. Right? The gate's to our right. The gate is in your mind. The gate is in your mind. We've got all the pieces. We're putting them together. I'm gonna save right here. In case this is like a boss room or something crazy. A Goomon that lives! Is this our Goomon from before that we helped? It might be our Goomon friend that we helped. For all I know, there's only one Goomon left. So this is, uh... For our safety, we put this thing in there. Is this gonna, f is this gonna fix the Goomon lands? It's building a bridge? Bridge to Terabithia. This shrine must have powered all they had built. Look at it now. Look what it did. What did it even do? Come on. Don't be sad, friend. We're fixing things. Don't blame us. Whatever you do, like, I, I have a feeling you're gonna find us and be like, this man killed all my friends. Oh, we didn't do it. Just, uh, just, just telling you right now that we did not do this. We're trying to fix shit, friend. 
Okay, let's save since that was a, uh, a little story sequence that I don't want to have to redo if I fail. Okay, that, that seems like, you know, nothing. Uh, what about over here? This seemed, like, ripe for, uh, ripe with opportunity for a little secret. Just your little, you know, your standard little secret. You look like you just recently froze. Your eyes are still very blue. I wonder if Gummo knows of their fate. I hope he can forgive us that we live and they are gone. Why would he have to forgive us? We didn't do this. I mean, did we do this? Are you saying that this is actually legitimately our fault? Nope. No, it's not our fault. I don't res accept any responsibility in that. Just saying that now. Uh, we want to go to the right first. Okay. What is this? What is this? We're crazy! We're crazy, people. Alright. Oh, I almost timed it perfectly! But I didn't. It was a failure of timing. Come on, we, we, didn't, we didn't mean for that to happen. Alright, we won't, we won't rush it. We won't rush it. We're going up here. We're doing it! So there's some spikies, we've got floating islands, we've got wind. Is this... I feel like... I feel like those particles indicate that I can float upwards. Nope. You get what I'm laying down there though, right? Those particles look like, uh... Look like... like something. We're listening to sign. The element of winds lies before us, stored in the heart of this place. And Gumo's gonna be pissed. <coughs> These ruins are all that is left of the Gumon, reminding us of their fate. Losing the ones that he loved, Gumo is the last of his kind. Damn it! Ori, we shall bring back the light, for nibble in the memory of Gumon. Let us restore the element of the winds. I hope he doesn't, like... I feel it. They, they're laying it down thick that he's gonna be, like, pissed at us. But we didn't do anything. So if he is mad at us, I'm just gonna be mad at him. Because I feel like it's, uh... Misdirected anger. Moved by their words, he decided to act. No! Why? Okay, so this is gonna have us floating upwards. Is there anything to do over here? No. That hurt us. Okay, so you gotta... You gotta juggle having the thing on and having it off. I think. Am I right or am I right? Okay. We've successfully navigated that. 
Okay, come on. Shoot this. Whoops. Was there an up there? Because I thought that was going to be like a secret. But it actually kind of looks like it might have been the way I was supposed to go. I thought continuing to go up was the strategy. So I'm going to go look up here to see if there's anything. <laughs> I'm dumb. Okay, so we know what we're doing. We can launch that projectile in ourselves. Make it a little easier. We don't have to just position ourselves in the right spot, necessarily. We do this. We get out of the way, we keep running. No? What were we even supposed to do there? That's my question. What even could have been done there? Temple of Wind is really a shit, a shit right now. It's seen better days. Go off to the left here and survive. Okay, so this probably broke the bottom part away. It did. We needed to fall with some authority there. These these little sequences are actually kind of challenging. Like they're little they're temple exits is what I'll call them. The water one was not not the easiest thing in the world for me to accomplish. Oop, that was the wrong button. I pressed the B button instead of the uh, do it right button. The thing that does kind of annoy me about this sequence is that they're like, now you just die. I feel like they just they just they're like, no, you have to die at this part. There's no getting it right on the first try. That's what it seems like, at least. Uh... Like, like that! How was I to know? You just have to get lucky. Or know, ex know that it's going to go to the right. If you know it goes to the right, then you can deal with it, but... I don't think I could have done anything about that. Maybe, okay, maybe if I wall jump or something, like, let go of the gliding and... Maybe I'm not giving myself enough credit or giving good players credit. It just feels like some of these things are a little tuned to just kill, like... Especially since they're instant kill things. Instant kills are not my favorite. Kind of annoy me, honestly. Alright, so there was one... A burst there. Let's follow this thing up. We'll stay on the left side. Okay, to be honest, they, they give these things... So they are, they are trying to respect us a little bit. Not majorly. They're not giving us a whole lot of respect. Are we free of this place? Is this a... Uh... Yes! Okay. We've made it out. And now we're in Kuro's Nest. What? What?
We haven't seen Kuro in a bit. Look at Kuro's family. With the evil ass eyes. Ew. Aren't you supposed to have like digested that more, like chewed it up? It didn't look like you chewed it up. Like it looked like you just dropped a worm in their mouth and I thought you were I thought you were supposed to basically like vomit into their mouth. But maybe I'm mistaken. Probably mistaken. That's, maybe that's not how things do it. But I... In my mind, that's how they do it. Oh, the tree's getting bright. Is the tree happy that we... Did something in the temple? Oh, shit! This is why Kuro was mad. Because these babies were scared. I mean... Oh, shit! Are the babies dying? The light killed the babies?! We killed the babies? Why does the light kill the babies? We deserve this. I thought he was just an asshole, but we deserve this. Like, we killed his babies. He didn't just come out here and, and attack the light for no reason. Or he had learned how they perished through our light. All along, she was simply protecting her last child. No, you- you're right, Kuro. You- we fucked up. I'm on Kuro's side now, honestly. That thought- that thing t turned it all around now. I'm, uh, Kuro did no wrong. Alright. This looks like a good point to cut it off for now. We're about to, about to go through some Kuro madness. But that'll happen, that'll happen on the next part of Ori in the Blind Forest. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, once again, if you enjoy it, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Come back for more. Ori and the Blind Forest, and whatever, whatever's up after that. So, look forward to seeing you. See you next time.